Uh, I think Memphis is going to blow out uh, the, the Timberwolves, which, like, totally wrecks my hot take. We talked about brackets a little bit. The Clippers busted my bracket because if the Clippers were the seven, I was totally ready to pick the seven seed Clippers to uh, upset the Grizzlies. But that's, that's not how it shook out. I think the Grizzlies should beat the Timberwolves um, pretty easily. And I, I just think they're a better team, you know, with or without John Morant. They've been really good this year. I think Jaron Jackson Jr. can do a great job on Carl Anthony Towns. And then Memphis just has so many other guys that can throw at you, whether it's Dylan Brooks, you know, obviously Ja, they got Desmond Bain. Um, and it's just like a really, a really tough team to, to try and guard um, and, you know, to, to try and score on. As far as the closest series, Probably, I mean, I think the, the four or five will be pretty close, except Luca's out for game one. So uh, I think the five seed Jazz are probably going to get the upper end, upper hand, because even if Luca comes back, I don't know that be, he'll be 100%. And I think the, the Warriors and the Nuggets is probably the most interesting series. But again, we know we don't know if Steph Curry is going to come back. He was on Draymond's podcast talking about, you know, his plan has always been to come back for game one. But, you know, nothing's been confirmed for that yet. Uh, but I think that'd be interesting because you have this Nuggets team who has been playing without stars all year. Obviously, they have Jokic, but they've been playing without Michael Porter Jr. and Jamal Murray. And while that is a you know detriment to them, they've at least had basically the entire season to play with the group of guys that they're playing with. Mm-hmm. Whereas the Warriors, they were trying to work back. Uh, well, they're trying to work back Steph now. They're trying to work back Clay Thompson. They're trying to work back Draymond Green, um, you know, not too long ago. You know, trying to work back, you know, a guy like James Wiseman into the lineup. Um, again, not too long ago. So I think that's going to be an interesting series. Probably not a whole lot of defense played, but I can see that one where it's, you know, 1-1. 2-1, 2-2, 3-2, 3-3, all the way to a game seven. Uh, because I do think those two teams are that, like, just – I think they're that even, where the Warriors have the star power um, and they have home court, but the Nuggets are going to have that team cohesion, as weird as that sounds, because, you know, they're missing their second and third best players. So just for, for updates for those out there, Steph did scrimmage with the Warriors, and he is optimistic that he'll be ready to go for game one. If Steph – is 85 percent for this series i think this thing's a wrap in five Damn. i i don't look i i understand what Jokic has done with the team around him but i look at the warriors who have all this experience and still all this talent and the head coach and steve kerr that has been in this situation so many times already that i just I don't believe Denver is going to put up much of a fight. Again, I, I think it might be one game. It might be two. They might steal one, you know, for a second game. But I think the Warriors are going to ab- end up actually beating down them if Steph is there. Even without – if it was without Steph, if Steph is, you know, missing the first game or two, I agree with you, it could absolutely go seven. But if Steph's there for game one and he's 80% or more, I just have a hard time seeing Denver – handling what the Warriors can do when they play as a cohesive unit.